a familiar one, but a strong hero indeed. It was a surprise to many to see him get his own Disney Plus series. However, there is so much more to the character than just his simple but awesome name, especially if we take a look at all the things he could bring to the table moving forward. The latest character to join the MCU is Wonder Man, who will be getting his very own Disney Plus series. A project that, as Marvel confirmed, is already in development as we speak. A director has already been assigned to the series as well, with Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings director Destin Daniel Cretton at the helm of things. And we are not surprised at all as to why Cretton has been assigned to bring this character to life, who, after following his critical success at the box office with the Shang-Chi movie, inked a deal to produce more content for the MCU through his family-owned production company. Part of this deal also includes a Shang-Chi sequel, with Cretton serving as both a director and a writer for that movie. On the Wonder Man series, Cretton will also be joined by Brooklyn Nine-Nine writer and producer Andrew Guest, who will serve as the head writer of the series. The production of the series is scheduled to begin in 2023, though it has not been confirmed what part of 2023 the project will start with the filming side of things. However, considering all the upcoming projects from Marvel and the series being in early stages as we speak, it will probably be the second half of 2023 when we will get the news of the series filming process. Now, before we move forward and see what the hero will bring to the table regarding the wider MCU and just what kind of an impact he will have moving forward, both for the events to come and the already established character, let's talk a little bit about Wonder Man himself who he is, what he is capable of, his origin story, as well as his connections to the characters the MCU already has on their hands, and the ones that have yet to make their debut. Created by Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, and Don Heck, and first introduced as a villain in a comic book series in 1964, Wonder Man was later reimagined as a hero who would eventually become a founding member of the infamous West Coast Avengers in the 1980s. His alter ego, Simon Williams, was famous for his role as a stuntman and an actor who inherits Williams' innovations after his father's death. And due to his inexperience, his rival Tony Stark from Stark Industries is allowed to see a lot of growth, with Simon seeing his downfall, something he blames Tony for, and gets a lot of sympathy from the likes of Baron Zemo and Enchantress. Using his hatred, he forms an alliance with Zemo and is used by him as a test subject of an experiment that eventually turns him into Wonder Man and is then used to infiltrate the Avengers. When he is asked to portray the Avengers, he has a change of heart and dies shortly after because of Zemo's kill switch built inside him. But it's later resurrected by Hank Pym, who saved his brain patterns for this particular situation. That is, if something unexpected happens to him. After joining the Avengers as a member of the team, he develops a sibling-like relationship with Vision through his ionic energy powers and brainwaves, which is also the reason why he was able to be revived in the first place. In the comics, when Vision was dismantled, Wanda asked Wonder Man to use his powers to bring him back to life, together with his original personality. But he refused as he developed feelings for Wanda herself. As for his power levels, to put it in short, the experiment proved to be even more successful than expected, with Wonder Man somehow being easily comparable to the power Thor has in his hands. Wonder Man has superhuman strength, stamina, speed, agility, durability, and reflexes. He is nigh invulnerable and immortal, and could even teleport at will, as well as absorb various forms of energy. Wonder Man's comics history points towards a Hollywood hero series with a lot of comedic elements. He was one of the first members of the Avengers team in the comics who could see a new setting and become part of the upcoming Thunderbolts team led by Baron Zemo, the one who gave him his powers. His brother Eric Williams could also become part of the MCU as the Grim Reaper, an identity he adopts in the comics and the one who seeks revenge on the Avengers, blaming them for his brother's death, a process in which he became one of the worst enemies the Avengers faced up until that point. One of the most interesting things that we think this series will showcase is his change of heart, or rather his change of sides, from being a villain to becoming one of the most essential members of the Avengers. On top of all the comedic bent he will bring to the table, some light-hearted content that the MCU will need in the midst of this upcoming war with one of the most prominent villains the Marvel comics have seen and the one that we know is coming to the MCU 
King the Conqueror One of the most important things about the series, and one of the main reasons why Marvel decided to bring the character to the MCU, is his comics history which could be adapted to some extent in the MCU, especially the plethora of characters he could bring to the table, both old and new, and all of them integrated into the series to some extent, and the events in it being a big deal in the future of the MCU. Plus, he is one powerful guy, which is always a good thing for the heroes, of course. Grim Reaper, Wonder Man's brother, could also bring his own team with him, the Lethal Legion who could go up against the Avengers at some point in the events of Phase 5 of the MCU, with his arrival already being set thanks to the second episode of WandaVision, in which, in the title sequence, his helmet was included, teasing the connection the brothers have with Wanda and Vision in the comics. Then there is Baron Zemo, who could be given an even bigger role in the MCU, as the one responsible for Wonder Man's arrival, a secret project he has been working on for quite a while now. Seeing how, he has been part of the MCU for quite some time now. Vision's creation is different from the one in the comics, but he could still come into play somehow in the Wonder Man series. And with White Vision still out there, somewhere, we are bound to have more of the Synthozoid in the near future. A connection that could prove to be the one that Marvel Studios needs to bring in the character and make him a big player for any future events to come. All in all, because the details on how Marvel plans to adapt Wonder Man are scarce at this time, it will be an interesting thing what his premise will be, especially with his strong connections to Wanda and Vision in the Marvel comics. The ending of Wanda Vision saw the original Vision being rebooted by Sword Agents without his original personality, with Wanda's version of her beloved fan named White Vision only having a glimpse at his lost memories, still far from the person Wanda fell in love with. This right here could be how Wonder Man could connect to the bigger picture. Seeing how Vision has knowledge of everything that happened until his death in the Avengers Endgame, giving Wonder Man the bigger picture. The only issue that Marvel would need to solve is the connection between Wonder Man and Vision in the first place. But considering how Marvel is keen on adapting a story from the Marvel comics into the live action, with a slight twist, we have no doubt that they will find a way to work things out. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the character, the series, and his debut as a whole? Where do you see him fit in the wider MCU, now that you know what he brings to the table, and what is the driving force behind the character? But also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.